this week was full of record-breaking, revenge songs, and superstar collabs. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. We're wrapping things up here in Miami for Billboard's Latin Music Week, but first, let's go over the stories you may have missed. The baby dropped a music video for Boogeyman, and it features a Megan Thee Stallion lookalike. You play with me, that was childish. The day before she stayed the Tory Lane shot, I was no Megan the Stallion. The baby is no stranger to controversy, and now the rapper is taking aim at Meg. In Boogeyman, he claims to have slept with the two-time Billboard Hot 100 chart topper, and even referenced her allegedly being shot by Tory Lanez. Megan hasn't responded directly, but fans think when she said this at the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Vegas this past weekend, she was talking about the baby's claims. I don't know about y'all, but I love my body. I do what I want to with my body. When I want to with my body. When who I want to with my body. Cause it's who? My body. Black pink in your area. If your area happens to be Paris. Jisoo you know shut down the Dior show at Paris Fashion Week. Vogue caught her arrival in a black mini before being sat front row next to Natalie Portman. Rosé was across town at the Eve St. Laurent show, also rocking a black dress shining bright in front of the Eiffel Tower, while sharing some BTS on Insta. Rihanna is gearing up to take the stage at the Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show, and it sounds like she's got a lot of guests to choose from. <laughs> According to TMZ, Rihanna is picking from 50 possible collaborators for the big event. Of course, Riri has worked with Calvin Harris, Kanye, Drake, and even Britney Spears. So she has plenty to choose from, hopefully Brit, but she still may just go solo for the 15-minute performance. Only time will tell, but we'll be waiting. Kelsey Ballerini is letting it all out with her new album, Subject to Change. I was friends with a pop star. I put him on track four, but wish I could take it back. I would have never asked if I knew we wouldn't talk anymore. Kelsey's new country banger, Doing My Best, calls out the fact that she had a falling out with the pop star, and fans think she's talking about Halsey. Kelsey refers to putting someone on track four, and Halsey appeared on track four, The Other Girl, on Bellarini's self titled album. Doing My Best doesn't seem to elaborate much more on her falling out with the pop star, but you know we'll be watching out for more music from these two. We've got some new queens of the Billboard 200. Blackpink is in your area and on top of the charts. Blackpink makes history as the first Korean all-female group to debut at number one on the Billboard 200 with Born Pink. I bring the pain like this with songs like Pink Venom and Shutdown, the 8-track collection had 102,000 equivalent album units earned, according to Luminate. And it's the first album from a female group to take the top spot since Danity Kane's Welcome to the Dollhouse back in 2008. I know I contributed to a big chunk of those sales. It's good to be a bleep. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe for all your music news. I'm gonna go enjoy my last few moments here in Miami, but we'd like to extend a special thanks to Soho Beach House, one of Miami's favorite hotspots since it opened 12 years ago. Bringing weekly DJ sets, performances, and more. It's a real vibe here. And Soho will be opening a second house in Miami later this year, Miami Pool House. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News, and I'll see you back in LA on Monday. Before we go, Hurricane Fiona has devastated Puerto Rico. If you would like to help the people of Puerto Rico, Billboard suggests making a donation to www.redcross.org slash donate.